Yo, what up, everybody? Silver Sonic Two Two Four here, and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog Two Thousand and Six. All right, so in this part, all right, so right now we have to go to the warehouse because that's where Rouge is. And uh, oh look, this guy again. This is the warehouse. You don't have any business here. Stay away. Wow, Maker just glitched in. Uh, but uh, bye. But. <laughs> The fact that you can just jump over that is just stupid. And they don't do anything about it. Because it's so Liana. Hi. It seems like Eggman's machines are looking for you. What did you do this time? Nothing. Their target is probably Mephilus. What is Eggman up to? Who is Mephiles? I'm gonna ask him directly. Hey, wait a sec. I can handle this alone. You keep track of Mephiles. Hmm. He finally shows up again, and then he leaves before even saying hello. Well, it seems his little trip hasn't changed him. This is Rouge, G-U-N-H-Q? Yes. Pull all available data on an item called the Scepter of Darkness for me. She does not have a watch on, she does not have a wrist communicator or anything on her arm. And there was no sound to indicate that she does. So, you just made Rouge look crazy. Looking like she's talking to her hand. Wow. <laughs> oh my lord. I mean, at least in other cutscenes before, you heard like beeping or something. But anyway, we gotta get to the train station. So, basically, our next stage is Radical Train. And I believe we can buy another upgrade here. Or maybe two more upgrades. Uh, no, Chaos Snap. Chaos Lance. So, Chaos Lance is basically an upgrade to Chaos Spear. See, of course, there, see, as, like I said before, there are three levels to your Chaos Boost meter. So, if you press the right trigger more than once, press it once while the meter's full, you activate Chaos Boost. You press it again, you activate level 2. You press it again, you activate level 3, which is the highest level. Level 2, we will be able to do Chaos Lance, which Chaos Spear, instead of just stunning enemies, also does damage to enemies as well. So now when we upgrade, so now when we uh, activate Chaos Boost mode, we will be able to not only stun enemies with the Chaos Spear, but also damage them. Now we can just go straight on in, but... Probably because Shadow's member of GUN, I pro probably so, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but Radical Train, still the same as Sonic's. Silver's was a little bit different, but Radical Train is the same as Sonic's, and... The basically the only difference between this um, between Shadow's Radical Train and Sonic's is basically instead of chasing down the train, like instead of just chasing down a train, you have to destroy this train. That's right, you have to destroy Eggman's train. Basically, uh, destroy all enemies here. Hit this switch and wait for the train to stop here. And just wail on it. So yeah, instead of trying to catch a train and top and stop it from blowing up, we have to destroy a train. So uh, yeah, destroy Eggman's train is basically the mission of this level here. But it's still pretty much the same as Sonic's because um, it still has that sense of urgency. 
You know, you're still chasing down a train. You're just destroying it this time around. Alright, be careful with... Uh, yeah. Be careful with that section there, because Shadow's homing attack, again, the long-range homing attack, is not needed. It's not needed. It, it, can, it can cause you to die more often than not. It can cause you to die, and that really does not need to happen. What you really need to do there is that you need to be careful in that section, because you need to maneuver Shadow in a certain direction on that section, because Shadow can literally go homing attacking... Like, cause his homing attack is so fast and it's so long range that he can literally go homing attacking straight over the conveyor belt and just die. So you're got so it, and it could be pretty hard or it could be pretty difficult to just maneuver him and try to try not to just homing attack straight over the edge like a Dumbo. But it, it, it it's dumb. It's just dumb. Anyway, these scales. Mm. I had a question. Why in the world does why in the world on Silver's radical train doesn't heat weigh the scales down? Sonic and Shadow does, but Silver doesn't. Well, Silver must be lightweight than a mug. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna show off Chaos uh, lands here. Press it again and see that. It just causes bits of damage to enemies if you uh, just launch it, but if you hold it down, it actually causes an explosion that sh slows the game down a bit. So yeah, that's Chaos Lance. Is it useful? Um, not that much. I mean, it, it, it hurts enemies and stuns them at the same time, but I recommend you not do that, especially while especially while charging up because. Like Rouge's bombs, Shadow's vulnerable in the air while he's charging up the Chaos Spear. So, yeah. Um, dumb game design, I know. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Um, oh, does Shadow has a mock speed section? Sort of. Sort of. Basically, what we do here is that we control a motorcycle. Yeah. And out of all of Shadow's vehicles, this one is probably the best one, even though this one doesn't even control that well either. So basically what you have to do is that you have to keep on uh, mashing the A button to pick up speed. If you, uh, uh yeah, that's, sex that, that's horrible. See, why are there trains there? That's retarded. Seriously, you expect me to dodge those trains one one I one after I hit a dash pad, I'm locked in the air and I can't like maneuver myself anyway. And oh my lord. That's dumb. But anyway. So yeah, press the A button twice quickly to get a boost dash. Keep doing it until Shadow has full speed. And what we have to do is that we have to catch up to the train and shoot bullets at it. Hold down the right trigger to shoot bullets at the train. Just keep destroying it. We have to destroy this end of the train. And if the train gets to the end, then we lose a life. But whatever. That that was just easy. But yeah. The, mo the motorcycle doesn't control that well. But it controls better than every... It controls so much better than sh all of Shadow's vehicles. Out of all of Shadow's vehicles in this game, that's probably the best one. That's probably the best one. But yeah, anyway. Motorcycle controls alright. But it doesn't control that great. It's just alright. What do you want now? Who is Mephilus? And why are you trying to capture him? If you want to know, you should go find him yourself. But here's a hint. It's all linked to the Soliana disaster ten years ago. The Solaris Project. Indeed. When you capture Mephilus, you must bring him to me. Then I'll tell you the truth about Solaris. Uh. 
Okay, then. And this cutscene right here is going to be the exact same thing. Sonic and release. I knew it. Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to. Just like how Princess Peach always knows Mario will return. This time, there will be no more interruptions. Translation, there's going to be so many more interruptions after this. How in the world did he avoid that? They clearly hit him. My guess is that was supposed to be a slow motion second right there, but unfinished rush development fail. Alright, so now we have a boss fight with Silver. So, Shadow's boss fight with Silver is basically the same Don't thing as Sonic's. Basically the same thing as Sonic's, except we're in that... Except we're in a unique area, and it's easier to avoid Silver um, without... It's easier to avoid Silver... Um, it's easier. It's easier to avoid Silver's telekinetic abilities because this is a really short area. So, um, what I recommend you do with Shadow is just oh snap, no, 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 no. What I recommend you do with Shadow is just slide into him because, of course, Shadow's combat combo homing attack is. Shadow like he stuck he gets he like stays in the air for a little bit after he homing attacks his target. So after that one second that he's in the air, you can't really move for that one second. So Shadow most likely Shadow won't be able to get away from Silver quick enough in order to dodge um him grabbing wow. In order to dodge him grabbing him. And oh snap, no, 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 no. So, yeah, just um, don't homing attack Silver because it don't homing attack Silver Shadow because Shadow, like, after he hits something, you know, right there, he does that split second stop right there. So, and also, when and also, once you're trying to get back on the ground and you try to run away. Sonic, uh, you know, Shadow doesn't build up speed as fast as Sonic, so Shadow doesn't build up speed as fast as Sonic, so what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to try to jump. You could try to jump and try to homing attack, but that most likely won't work because you'll probably end up homing, you'll probably end up homing attacking back to Silver on accident, so just don't do that. And I'm trying to guide Silver to some barrels so he can try to throw them at me. This battle is taking longer than it needs to take. Oh my lord. I'm going to get into an endless loop. I can't even see Silver. Because the camera doesn't focus on him. That's why I got grabbed by him some other times. Because the camera doesn't focus on Silver. It just focuses on you. So you can end up accidentally running into him. And end up getting grabbed by his psychokinesis like I did those few times okay if he gets over here I don't even know where he's at I really can't okay where's he at oh. so yeah same fight as Sonic's just slide into him not homie attack now you can do that as Sonic too it makes things easier with Sonic but you really need to do it as Shadow because Shadow's not as fat. Flip! I didn't see him. I didn't like see him until the lower. Oh, snap. I hope we can take that ring box uh, way up there. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see Silver until like the last second. <laughs> that just wasn't good. Okay, is he gonna. He's gonna go up here. Oh, flip! I probably shouldn't stop. So. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah. 
You see why this boss fight is so bad? If you are quick enough at that beginning part, you can actually get a quick hit on Silver. But, uh, where is he at? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I don't see where he's at. This camera. It's t oh, wow. He's just right on. He was right on top of me right there. The camera does not focus on you. It focuses on Silver. I mean, it, it doesn't focus on Silver. It focuses on you. So, you don't know where Silver is half the time. So... When he says, how about this, you're going to have to try and find him real fast and get your chance to hit him. It's, uh, see why this boss fight is so bad? Seriously, this boss fight is considered one of the worst silver bosses ever. And one of the worst boss fights ever in Sonic history. And I'm so glad they redeemed silver in Sonic Generations. Because that boss fight in Sonic Generations with Silver was amazing. It's probably what it should have been in this game. Matter of fact, it is what it should have been. I'm just going to assume that every... I'm going to assume that everything in Sonic Generations... That everything from... Everything that was in Sonic 06 that was in Sonic Generations... Which is... Well, let me find a way to rephrase this. I'm going to assume that everything from Sonic 06 that was in Sonic Generations is basically what Sonic 06 was supposed to be. I'm just going to assume that. I'm going to assume that the Silver Boss Battle was supposed to be way better than this mess. And oh my lord. Okay, finally. I'm just going to assume that. Because, hey, oh my lord. No, 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 no. Oh my lord. He almost grabbed me again. Ah. Uh, come on, Silver. Come on. Come on. Come on. But this area is like, it's, it's so big that it. It's sometimes difficult to get silver to run into some stuff and get your chance to flip. Oh, oh, get your chance to hit him. I only attacked him there, but uh, I managed to get away. Oh, man. I'm just gonna homing attack him this last time. Alright. Where's. Where? Yeah! Yeah, I hit you with a few chaos spears. How you like that? <laughs> Finally, man, I got that done. Uh, whatever. Need to stay focused. Uh, whatever, Shadow. It's not your fault. It's the game's fault. The game needs to stay focused. Seriously, the camera needs to stay focused. <laughs> oh my lord, and we've already seen this cutscene right here. So I get to commentate over it. Ain't that some stuff? And of course, who doesn't love this part? And if any of you are wondering how Silver can just do chaos control like that, it's be it's because it's it's a, a flip. It's because it's been established in Sonic Adventure 2 that pretty much anybody can use chaos control if they believed hard enough. It turns your thoughts into power. So there you go. Because I've heard people say that. I've heard people say, like, they got confused, like, oh, my goodness, Silver can all of a sudden do chaos control now? Huh? How? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's pretty much established in Sonic Adventure 2 that pretty much anybody can 
do chaos control if they believe hard enough. Every cutscene in the game was like this. Because the other cuts, the in game cutscenes, man, they, the, the characters look like they're, the characters look like they're just puppets, just being controlled by a puppet master. But in the CGI cutscenes, they move more like real people. lab accident. The horrible, horrible lab accident. Is that... Yes, sir. The OM. They're escaping. We'll have to split up. I'll pursue Mephilus. Okay. And lead Iblis to me. Wait. Seal it with this. Hurry. Alright, so that's it for this part, and on the next part we're going to do Shadows Aquatic Base, which is pretty much the same as Silver's. We're just going after Mephilus this time. And I believe after Aquatic Base, I know we are, we are almost done with Shadow Store, I believe. Um, we have two more levels after, I believe we have two more levels after this. So, two more levels after this in Shadow Story. So, yeah, we're almost done with Shadow Story. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I might do... No, 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 no. There's going to be two more parts of Shadow Story. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Silver Sonic 234, and I will see you guys on the next video when we will go after Mephilus.